Hi, I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins, and I'd like to tell you a story about a little girl named Claire. Now, Claire was a two-month-old baby girl with Down syndrome, and I got to meet her because I was spending time with a chiropractor, and this chiropractor, all she did was take care of kids, and, and this is many years ago. I was a student, and I was spending time with this chiropractor, and this mom brings her baby to this chiropractor and says, is there anything you can do for my little girl? Um, the chiropractor looks at, at Claire, and she's two months old. She's a, a, a tiny little thing, and and, and she has Down syndrome, but another, a number of other things. She would just lie there and she'd stare blankly into space. She didn't really look around at her environment or her, her parents or anything. She would just lie there and, and she'd kind of moan and groan, but she didn't really cry or didn't really make any of those, those cute little baby noises. And she had one arm that she couldn't move at all. Her other arm and legs moved just fine, but the one arm couldn't move. So there were a number of things going on with this baby. And so this chiropractor, she then started to check her spine and she realized that the very first bone of the neck was shifted way out of position. Um, and so she did something I'd never seen done before. She takes this baby, she turns her onto her side and with her finger, she gives Claire this little adjustment. And when she did that, Claire let out the most horrible scream I had ever heard. And I thought, oh my goodness, what did this chiropractor just do to this baby? And she just, and she, she just let it all out. She cried and cried and cried. She screamed and who knows how long it was. Felt like 15 minutes. Either way, she just cried and cried. I'm really thinking there's something wrong. And mom looks up at the chiropractor and she says, that's the first time she's ever cried, ever. And boy, did she. She let it all out. It went on and on for about 15 minutes. Well, eventually it stopped. And when it stopped, Claire opened her eyes and she started to look around. And she opened her mouth and started to make cute little baby noises. And even that arm that wasn't moving before at all, she started to be able to move it. All these things she wasn't doing after that first adjustment or all these things she wasn't doing before that first adjustment. It was an amazing thing to see and I was able to be there for a few days and on my last day there it was Claire's fourth day. Um, they had her to a point where she could turn over onto her side and, and onto that bad arm and she was actually able to roll herself over, pull the arm out from under her and even start to lift up her head which at two months is a little bit advanced. It was an amazing thing to see, an amazing thing to be able to be a part of and 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 it, it just, it, it changed my thinking as far as how we were going to provide healthcare. When you think about Claire, you know, after all of this, this, this miracle for her, does she still have Down syndrome? Yes, of course. But she's getting her life back. She's doing the things that a two month old baby girl is supposed to be able to do. And as I think about the things that we do in here in our office, it's very important. We see a lot of people that, that want to work on and do work on getting out of pain. And we do feel that's incredibly important. But my goal for you is to help you get your life back. And to do that, we do things just a little bit differently here, but we have a great time doing it. I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins, and that is why we are here.